watch some serious tubes. He's a lean, green TV watching machine and might remind you of that weird kid in high school who was full of pop culture references and useless trivia about the third season of Battlestar Galactica. His comical engine is kept running by HBO funny man Dana Gould, supplying the boob tubing gecko with hundreds of one liners that will make you either giggle or groan. He's Gex, developed originally for the 3DO by Crystal Dynamics and published for the PlayStation by Microsoft Game Studios. Although he is one of the lesser known video game heroes of the 90s, right up there with Rayman and Tomba, Gex brings a flair and attitude that gamers like myself like to see in a protagonist. Available for systems like the PlayStation, 3DO, and Sega Saturn, Gex is a game that is for pop culture nerds and gamers alike. Exceedingly fun to play as you control Gex through the typical Saturday afternoon lineup. Scary movies, cartoons, and kung fu flicks chock full of diabolical obstacles and enemies eager to stop you dead in your webbed tracks. Gex, as a video game hero, does well to appeal to the everyman. He's usually in front of the TV screen trying to catch the latest episode of Kung Fu Theater or premium TV special that everyone is raving about. Being the carnivorous lizard that he is, he spots lunch in the form of a big juicy fly, but little does he know that the tasty insect is equipped with a transmitter that allows Gex's archenemy Rez to pull him to the dark, scary media dimension. The only way Gex can get out is to collect the equivalent of all the remotes the average MST3K fan loses in a lifetime. Go figure. Gex's legacy would live on from his first two-dimensional title that would see the release of Enter the Gecko and Deep Cover Gecko that sold well on Nintendo 64, but were radical departures from the side-scrolling platformer style of the first. You'll utilize Gex's wall-climbing ability, tail-whip the shit out of anything that dares to oppose you, whether it be Franken-Geckos in the first few levels or misrepresentations of Raiden from Mortal Kombat and Kung Fu Land, and collect shiny golden flies that are scattered across each level that are akin to... meh... Sonic Rings. This is no ordinary platformer adventure, however. Gex comes with an element of extreme difficulty at times. For example, during this Kung Fu stage, you will have to traverse across platforms made of explosives, and once they're gone, they're gone. Can't use them anymore. Additionally, the remotes in each level can seem damn near impossible to find without exploring every hidden corner over and over. Still, that's not to say that Gex is not equipped with all the skills necessary to escape the strange world of television that Rez has pulled him into. Along with using his tail as a whip, he can corkscrew it and become an aerial threat as he can drop from a high ceiling and pounce on unsuspecting enemies. Gex can also eat various power-ups scattered throughout to recover health, increase maximum health, and even transform into a whirlwind of invincibility, like the Tasmanian Devil. Gex was one of those games that you remember fondly, but probably do not think about too much anymore unless one of your buddies brings it up in conversation. Or unless, well, unless you watch CGR Undertow, which is a good thing. I'm sorry I could cry.